So next it's going to be the trackball, which is going to go here. So here's the trackball. I think it's Suzo Hap, I guess. I think that's what it is. This is the one that Game Room Solutions sent with the kit I ordered. And you'll see it's got this uh, black and white um, wire just like the uh, black and white wire over here and it's got that little thing at the end so same thing we're just going to snip it here and splice it to the end there and that should light up this uh, also it's got its own green ground wire uh, that's not going to connect to our black ground it's a lot thicker uh, so we don't want to connect it to some a thinner wire uh, it's got a little tip here at the end. Uh, it's got like a little circle on it. See that a little circle end? Uh, basically, that's going to attach to the screw of one of the joysticks. I saw that in one of the Game Room Solution videos. So that's how you're going to ground that. This will, I'm going to splice to my lights. And it's just going to be a USB connection uh, that's going to connect to uh, the, the computer via one of those uh, extension cables I have and that'll be the trackball next All right, so we got the trackball here and you'll notice if you look close It's got this thing here that says monitor on it and it's got a little arrow pointing in that direction so If we put it like this and then we fold it down it will be pointing towards the monitor So we want it to go like this Not like this because then when it comes here uh, the arrow is pointing at us, not at the monitor. See that? So we want it to go here so that when it flips down, it's pointing at the monitor. So that's how that's going to go on. Uh, we've got these screws here that are going to go into the four screw holes like that. Like so. And then we're going to need to connect this ground wire to there, to the screw to ground it. And then this will just connect to the PC. So that will be the trackball. So we're going to do that next. So these four screws here that came with the trackball just drop right in here around the trackball hole. So that'll go on like that. Then we've got a couple of we've got a couple washers here. Looks like just one washer and a nut. This is what we got here. So let's get those on. I put the washers on first, and I do not think that's correct because it's not going up all the way. So the washers, I think, are not allowing it to fit snug. Are they supposed to go on top for the plastic? Yeah, let's put them on top, but then it won't look as good. With these pieces of metal on top, it's kind of an eyesore. All right, that's my guess. I'm guessing the washers go on top. That's what I'm gonna guess. These screws have a square shape, so it's not going into this washer very well, which has a round shape. I'm so confused. All right, just took the washers off. They weren't making sense to me, so. That looks a little bit better. Put the nut straight on it. Okay. So I'm gonna get my little socket wrench.
and I was scratching out my wire. Whoops. You guys were seeing me do that, weren't you? So it's going to go down to the computer, connect down there, and I now need to connect this ground wire here. Basically, we're just going to remove this screw from the joystick next to it. We're going to put this in that screw and just screw it right back in to secure it right there. Okay. We're going to put the screw right into there. And this is going to basically the metal of the joystick is what's going to ground this ground wire. Apparently just about any piece of metal will serve as an outlet for that. And in one of the Game Room Solutions videos, that's how the person has it connected. And this is how it looks. All right, I got the trackball connected. I got the USB cable going down into the computer. And the ground wires connected, just screwed into there. Uh, it just grounds to any piece of metal. Now all I need to do is the light here so that the trackball lights up. So I need to snip, snip this off and I'll splice it to the end of my black and yellow here that is still in excess. Um, so I'll trim off all this stuff I'm not going to use and just connect it right to this thing and it should light up. All right, so as you can see, the trackball has uh, black and yellow wiring also. Uh, so that'll just match right up with the black and yellow of the lights for all the buttons. So I've got all this extra black and yellow wire I didn't use because uh, I've done all the buttons. So I'm just gonna snip it off and then I'm gonna splice these together. All right, so let's do that real quick. Probably cut it here because that way we won't have these extra things. And then we'll just splice it like that. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So let's see. I'm just going to cut those off. I don't need that. I'm splice these. Strip these first. And where's the loop for this? Let's go ahead and cut this one about here. Don't need that. And get the black one here and then we'll connect those. So I got black and black wires. Let's get our little blue cap. And let's do the black on the black here. There's the black one. Now all we gotta do is this yellow wire next. And that should light up now. Let's see. Hopefully I did that right. Oh my goodness! Wait, it changes colors? I thought it was just blue. There it is! Can I roll it? Yo, this is sick. Now you put like Look seven at so. that. It's working! Alright, nice. So there it is. It's all lit up. And there's the computer there. And I still have to program all this stuff. But if we move the trackball, we do see that it is moving the mouse cursor. I still have to program what my left and right click buttons are going to be, whether it's these buttons here, or those buttons up there. So, but the computer is detecting it. In terms of the hardware and installation, looks amazing. Came out great. 
And now let's pop the hood and you guys can see how it looks underneath. Oh, it's heavy. It's a lot heavier now with this stuff on it. Uh, so you can see it's got the trackball and all the wiring. And I use these twist ties just to try and group everything. And I wanted a lot of slack on, he on here. I don't want a lot of pressure on this thing. So I basically left some slack and connected it to here. So now if it gets tugged on or just from the weight of it pulling on it, it's putting the pressure here instead of on the connection there. So that just helps keep that from getting messed up. So just bound it all together. I kind of bound these together to clean those up. Uh, that was just excess wiring that I grouped. And all the, th the three wires that are going down, so the two USBs from the mic mini packs and the USB for the trackball, those all need to go down to the PC. Uh, so I bound those here to kind of make it look nice, like one cord going down inside to the computer. So it makes it look a little cleaner. Um, it's still a lot, um, but it does look a lot better than just a complete nest of wires. So I'm kind of proud of it. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, the only thing I've ever done is maybe wire some speakers together when I was a kid. So this was kind of a big project for me and it came out really nice. Uh, I hope you guys like it.